Hello, everyone. Today, we're going to talk about meeting skills. I'll divide today's topic into two parts. For the first part, I'll be talking about meeting documents, and for the next part, I'll be focusing on the roles of meeting participants. Under meeting documents, I'll be covering three items. The first one being the notice of a meeting, the second one, meeting agenda, and finally, the minutes of a meeting. As for the roles of the meeting participants, we know that we have the chairperson as well as the participant. Let's begin with the first one, the meeting notice. A meeting notice is issued to notify meeting participants of an imp impending meeting. And for a meeting notice, we usually include details of things like time, date, venue, and the purpose of the meeting. The next meeting document is the meeting agenda. The meeting agenda is a document issued to meeting participants detailing the items to be discussed in a meeting. So for a meeting agenda, we usually include things like opening or welcoming speech, apologies, minutes of the last meeting, matters arising, main agenda, any other business, and finally, date for the next meeting. Apart from that, the third document that we'll need is the minutes of the meeting. So minutes of meeting is prepared only after the meeting is over and to ensure that everything is recorded correctly. And for the minutes of the meeting, it is usually a lengthier document that would record what were the things being discussed, what were the final decisions, and who are responsible to follow up for certain items in the agenda. Next, the role of chairperson of a meeting. For the chairperson, your main role is to guide the meeting procedure. First of all, you'll need to welcome your members and start the meeting. At the beginning of the meeting as well, you'll need to set the ground rules and advise your meeting members of the housekeeping details, such as the time and the meeting breaks. Keep to agenda, and at the same time, make sure you keep to the time frame. Try to facilitate discussion as you go along. Clarify actions to your meeting participants. And last but not least, make sure you thank everybody before you close or before you adjourn the meeting. And what about the roles of a meeting participant? As a meeting participant, you have to make sure that you turn up on time. Next, be prepared to contribute your ideas. After that, make sure you pay extra attention to all the agenda items. Get yourself actively involved in the discussion. And also, when others are speaking, try not to interrupt. That's all for now. Thank you.